on a warm, dry Thursday in the spring of 2021, the burning hills burned. It outran us at just about every corner. Basically, by the time we got our plan together, it was here. Gusty wind, unseasonably warm temperatures, severe drought conditions, all ingredients for a fire. And all it took was a spark from a sagging power line south and west of Medora. I took the initial call from a passerby on the interstate that had reported smoke uh, out south of, you know, on West River Road. The fire behavior was extremely violent that day. And the way it flashed over the ridge and started running, we decided we had to come to town and try to get around it and cut it off at the river. Doug Keister is Medora's fire chief and a decades long member of the Theodore Roosevelt Medora Foundation's maintenance team. He and Billings County Fire Chief Kyle Shockley sought a high vantage point and watched as the flames flew directly toward Medora. At that time, we realized the fire was moving way too fast to try and get it up in front of it closer. And if we'd have waited any longer, there would have been no time to evacuate. And a decision was made to initiate a reverse 911 call to notify the residents uh, that they needed to evacuate Medora. Residents like Chris Stockman, director of food and lodging for Medora, his wife and his three daughters too. Um, I looked back up over this direction and that's when you could see the flames coming up over the hill. And that's when the real fear kind of set in. I, at that point, I kind of wrote up, I kind of wrote off that we were going to lose everything that night. So, an entire city threatened by fire, but Medora is much more than a city. The irreplaceable pieces of history that could have been lost. Uh, I try not to think about that. And then the wind shifted, and it came straight towards the theater. The Burning Hills Amphitheater, home of the Medora musical. We saw the flames on the back hill. We saw all the fire coming in. There's, there's very little likelihood that anything is still standing there. The theater was built in one winter, um, and it went up in one winter. And you know, you start thinking about it. Can we, can we put it up in a month? You know, can we, can we fix it? What can we do? What is, what's going to happen? But Medora is lucky, because on April 1st, 2021. It had people like Doug Keister on its side. And we were bound and determined to hold the line. People like Clint Rood. We all train and we had a lot of really good people on our on our fire department and we rely on the veterans who know what they're doing and you know, just work together and make it happen. Close to 150 people, firefighters. It took everybody working together to fully execute the plan. EMTs. We ended up calling in all of our full-timers and most of our volunteers. Volunteers like theater's manager, Maddie Thompson. We were very lucky that there were no injuries to firefighters and everyone stayed super safe. And Chris Stockman, who came back to town after evacuating to keep first responders fed. We made 150, uh, 150 meals and sent them out to the to everybody in the field to um, try and give them a little bit of a break and a little bit of energy to keep going. Keep going, they did. And by nightfall, even as the fire raged on, the city and the amphitheater were saved. I thought the theater was gone. I was just trying to hold my part of the line. And when I got a free minute to come back and come around that ridge, I couldn't believe it was still standing. To know that the prop shop, which is where we build the Medora Musical, all of our set pieces are built in that building. Um, the fire was within three, four feet of that building. And so the fact that that was still standing was absolutely miraculous. We were amazed to see the fire line behind our garage. Um, there's less than eight feet between um, charred grass and the house itself or the back walls of the garage. Whenever I walk out, I see it, I'm just still in shock and awe. It's kind of like any other time. I mean, we do it because we love our community and uh, someone's got to do it. And I'm just here to lend a helping hand. I'm, I'm no better than the next guy down the line. All the communities came together. It was just amazing. The footprint of that fire is unmistakable. But now out of the charred earth, green grass is springing up and we're reminded to cherish the people and the places we love. 
like Medora. Yeah, there's some extra work to do, some fences to be rebuilt and some retaining walls to be fixed, but that's pretty minor in comparison to what it could have been and we're ready for a new season. Pretty proud to say that, that I'm from Medora here, for sure. So to the many people who helped save our city, the Theodore Roosevelt Medora Foundation says thank you. The way the community rallies together and, you know, the public and, and, and business owners and, you know, bringing water and, and food to the fire hall. I mean, everyone's a hero. It's, it's, it's all of us.